Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm not sure if I should go over to Flower Fear or Ice Iceberg number one first because, well that's a secret path so maybe I'll do the regular path first. Flower Fear, Ghost Houses if I'm not mistaken, all have secret exits in this game so yeah. By the way, booze, they attack you when, their back is, when your back is turned towards them. Yeah, it's... By the way, don't touch the sides of spikes. I do. Re I think the sides of spikes will hurt you. So, yeah, those jumps are more precise than it looks. By the way, um, this is kind of obvious, actually. <laughs> yeah, there is a... Oh, no, 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 don't. Don't rush ahead. Go, 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 go! Okay. Yeah, this is a secret. Prefer uh, probably a secret exit. Oh, yeah! Yeah, that is indeed the secret exit of the level. It's really early in the level, so I thought I would grab that first before exploring the rest of the place. That leads to a pipe. Should I check what's in the pipe now or later? I'm thinking later, so but more Flower Fear. Not really sure why this one is called Flower Fear, actually. Is it... Maybe there's gonna be flowers in the level, or maybe they're, they're saying I should fear the fire flowers? I don't know, I, or maybe it's the flowers in the background? That that could be? Maybe? Uh, but why would you fear flowers? They're beautiful. <laughs> they had a touch of color to any painting. Well, in any case, the fear is still there. Because of the ghosts, and the ghost house. And I, I think they're having plumbing difficulties. Oh jeez! Shouldn't have dropped so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch for the doom around every corner. Can I like, I like to kill this. There we go. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to build a bridge somewhere around here. Oh, well that's not the bridge I was thinking of. <laughs> uh, what if I go up? Oh wait, the bridge is here that I need to build right over here. Yep. Just a couple of invisible blocks, otherwise you'll fall right through them. What's over here? Oh, oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, oh, oh. oh fire it, flower. Ah, the fear. It grips me. Oh, 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 I didn't want to do that. Well, I need to build a bridge here too, I just remembered, so glad I took that path. And I'm also glad I killed off that flower. <laughs> Maybe that- maybe they're the flowers that I should be worrying about. The piranha plants. I really don't know. <laughs> I've always been mystified at that. Um, there's a pea switch in here which just fills the place with coins. I should have used it a little bit later. Oh shoot! I could have ducked and tried to get in between them, but it's just mainly for um, just a bunch of coins. So it's not like we're racing to a door or something like that. So you don't really have to worry about um, wait, are we are we racing to a door? Or no, wait, we're not. This is, looks like just a uh, little cubby hole of sorts. Yeah, okay. Woo! Another level complete. Ghost houses. If you know what to do, they don't really take all that long. <laughs> but you know the the power ghost houses have over you is that they are. In aims that you know you got to figure out the puzzles and what not to go through them and that could take a while anyway iceberg number one starts ah it's so calming oh look at that we can go right through the wall huh 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 oh, hmm. yeah it's kind of obvious because it doesn't have these uh white walls there but i forgot where the key is unless it's unless it is over here and i just need to antagonize the Rip Van Fish. No? I thought it might have been like behind them or something like that. I don't know. That's probably not even possible in the uh, Lunar Magic. <laughs> I don't know Lunar Magic all that well. Uh, I've messed around with it, but it's not a, a thing that I've... Like, I haven't built a single level in it. Oh, there's the key. <laughs> but what I mean is I've just messed around with it to see what it's like and whatnot. Come on. You know what? I don't have to... I don't have to deal with you, I can just rush in, put that key in the keyhole, and there we go. There's the other ghost house over there, known as the Dead Disco. That's a pretty funny themed level. 
You'll see when we get there. But anyway, let's defeat this level normally now, shall we? Um, yep, there's a power up there. It's definitely handy to have either a cape or fire flower in underwater levels like this because you can kill off stuff as you go rather than having to deal with them as an obstacle and whatnot. Yeah. Should I bother getting this one? I don't know why I'm bothering to get that when I skipped out on the first dragon coin earlier on in the level. <laughs> Maybe I just like a challenge, even though it wasn't really much of a challenge, nor was the first coin in the level. <laughs> Uh, do not anger and awaken the fish. Oh, shoot! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Secret path. Well, kind of. For coins. It's also probably easier to take this path than it is to go the, go through the regular path with the uh, torpedo teds. By the way, um, you might, have, might recognize that this level is sort of kind of similar to a level known as Soda Lake. Well, that's probably what it was based off of, because um, remember this is a, a ROM hack of the original Super Mario World back when it was, um, when it, when ROM hacks weren't all that super, super elaborate, I mean you couldn't do all that super, super elaborate stuff that you can now, so it was using what you had, basically. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Soda Lake, because I think Soda Lake is the one and only level that Torpedo Ted's appear in. By the way, there's a, a funny glitch with Torpedo Ted's in that, well, I shouldn't say it's a glitch, it's um, it's something that ugh, something that you normally can't do in uh, regular gameplay, is that Torpedo Ted's are not programmed to die. Um, you can whack them with a star, and you will continuously whack them in a very rapid succession, um, while they quote-unquote die off, but they aren't actually dead. And what'll that, what that'll do is it'll chain kill them, you'll be able to get a crap ton of one-ups all at once, because um, you can just keep chaining torpedo teds like that. And there's a, um, some ROM hackers make that as sort of like a bonus area, um, just for kicks, and you can get a ton of lives off that. And, uh, yeah, um, 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 let's go to the Dead Disco, just because it's a funny level. Ooh, spooky, <laughs> okay, not really that spooky. So, yeah, it's, I was holding up. Oh, wait, can you, oh, you can't hold up, you have to actually have to tap up, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I forgot about that somehow. How could I forget such a vital thing, I don't know. But yeah, it's a disco-themed, oops, ghost house level. <laughs> Including note block details in the walls. <laughs> it's a silly level concept and I like it. There's even the like lights and stuff like that on the walls too as extra added details. Ooh, no, 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 no. And also, no. I could probably hit that block while they're moving, but I just like to be a little safe. That sucked. <laughs> why Why did I wait for such a poor reward? I don't know. I don't know. But I forgot where the secret exit was in this one. Oh, you jump. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say you jump. You sort of glide. A sort of float. Oh, discos. Maybe this is the dead disco, but it's alive. It's very much alive. <laughs> You can kill off um, flashy shells like that by just spin jumping on them. Um, a lot of people for a while thought that they were totally invincible because regular jumps you just bounce right off them, but nope, nope. You can just spin jump on them, take care of them for good. But sometimes you don't want to do that because sometimes you gotta actually ride them in some ROM hacks. Yeah. Um, can I hit that like with the regular jump? Mm. I'm pretty sure I need to hit that. <laughs> So this is the, the power of a ghost house, as I was saying before, and that if you don't know what to do, it's gonna hold you for a while. <laughs> anyway, I guess I did need a shell to get that because they gave me a shell there, and I will take that shell, and I will use this shell right over there for the P-switch. What is that P-switch used for? Um, hold on, I just wanna see, maybe it's, no, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, here. Okay, I'm gonna drop that. 
do not fall on the hole. <laughs> yeah, blue door appears there. And I'm guessing that's the secret exit? Maybe? I forgot. <laughs> But what I do know is that I've got a bonus game, and the star is in the middle. I believe it's Mushroom, Star, Flower, um, in terms of where you want to sit to get stuff. Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, maybe it's Mushroom, Flower, Star. Ah, poopers. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Oh, and yeah, the bonus game was slightly changed here, as you can tell by um, with the graphical changes, as well as giving you um, a power-up. Okay, that, that was probably the regular exit, because it's not leading to anything all that meaningful that other paths wouldn't have already led to. So yeah, that was probably the regular exit. Anyway, I gotta go back in here, so... <laughs> More dead disco goodness here. Ooh! Ooh! No, eerie. Don't bother me, Eerie. I've got work to do. Ooh, ooh, okay. I would rush through there that time. Nope, nope. Oh, I picked it up, not jumped on it. Dang it. <laughs> nope. Thank you. Ah. No! <laughs> Why do I suck so badly? I don't know. Anyway, now we're gonna go take another path through here. Um, I think I could just like do this, yeah. <laughs> Just skip out on that any uh, skip out on that other route and go to this other part of the dead disco. I'm guessing this is like the the power room of sorts because there's I think that's like wiring and stuff like that in the background. And also got some flashy flashy lights above you. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, this isn't the right path. Oh no, I'm lost in a ghost house. How about this door? Does this door lead to anything meaningful? Uh, oh, I think this is the right path to the regular exit. Yeah, P-switch, okay. I can pick that up. I'm gonna take it with me. Uh, I can't take it through doors. I know that. It'll automatically just despawn out of your finger <coughs> fingertips if you do that. Uh, what if I hit it here? Oh, 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 oh. Mm, what's the point of that? It, it, it's just like an upper upper route of sorts that... No, we got another, we're in another area. There's a switch over there. Uh, get... Move, move it. Move it. You guys are really, really in the way. Okay, go... Go that way. Go that way. Nope, nope. That works. <laughs> yeah, I probably have to hit that switch to get to the secret exit, I'm guessing. So here we go. i whack that. I have no idea what that does because I forgot how to get to said secret exit, so yeah. <laughs> um, by the way, when you're climbing on something, the direction that you're facing will stick with you no matter which direction you're moving. That's how I'm able to manipulate the booze to do whatever I want to after a certain point. Oh, it takes me back here, okay. So, then... I probably need to go take that other path then again to... Uh, um, see the other door and see where that leads to. Uh, but how do I get up there now without a cape? Probably have to do like a a spin jump on a boo or something like that. Oh wait, wait, wait. What am I? What am I thinking? The door that I need to go in is right here. I'm being stupid. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna try the right door. I don't really see the point to that P switch unless there's something hidden in the holes. Here's a P-switch here. Um, this is blah, most likely based off of that other ghost house that you had to take a P-switch with you to get somewhere. Uh, what if I hit it here? I'm gonna try to go in here. It's probably misleading. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Trying to figure out what hitting that switch did in that other room. Hmm. Wait, what's... I should probably go back and get another power-up over on this side, because when you leave a room in Super Mario World, it, what it does is it actually resets the blocks full of power-ups, so you can use that um, and abuse it. <laughs> 
So yeah, I forgot where the other egg set is. Yeah, this is much much harder to find than the uh, uh, the other exit. So I'm guessing that this uh, this is indeed the secret exit that I'm looking for. All right, so P switch. I'm gonna. Is there something up there? Maybe. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is do that, and then I'm gonna rush along here. Ah. I'm just gonna take a look ahead here. Uh, there's something up there. Hmm. Grab one of these. I'm gonna throw it up here. Hmm. That didn't seem to do anything. <laughs> Okay, there is something up there. But what? Hmm. Oh! That's what the switch does, huh? 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 Okay. Can I, like. Uh, can I get enough speed over here? Maybe? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh! I don't need to! <laughs> I don't need to at all! Hopefully, I don't need a P switch in here. Please tell me I don't need the P switch in I did need the P switch in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Uh, probably end up going through this level again, because I'm running low on time. Maybe, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get through this in time. Well, maybe I can if I really, really rush this sucker. Could be, maybe, go! 28 seconds! Hurry! Jump! Dodge Eeries and stuff quickly! Okay, so I'm gonna grab this. Hurry! On up! Hopefully I won't have to defeat a boss or something. Eh, I'm gonna hit this switch ahead of time. Because I already took the coins. Oh shoot! Whatever! 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 Go in! Go in! Go in! I do have to defeat a big boo! No! I don't have time for this! <laughs> well, I found the secret exit. <laughs> Alright, well now that I know how to do it... Um, I can get through this relatively quickly. Remember what I was saying about uh, ghost houses going pretty fast? It, <laughs> if you know what to do, well, I'm not going to cut ahead this time just to show you what I mean here. Because now that I remember, well, not I should say now that I know what to do because I, I remember everything wrong. <laughs> now that I know what to do, I will be able to go through it with relative ease and speed. Maybe. <laughs> just gonna put myself in position here and just let the booze do their thing. They're just happily going in a circle. Maybe that's also the disco. Is their circular motions. Perhaps, maybe. Why did I do that? Okay, can we go that? Oh, I thought there was something in there. Guess I forgot. Uh, oh, there was something in here. Yeah. It was this one that had something. Whee! Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and we're back here. Now, since we know what to do, we need to go left first. Because we need to take the path that hits the switch. And... Okay. <laughs> yeah, this again. I'm just gonna go, 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 And glide, 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 glide. Boop. There we go. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. <laughs> Too impatient to wait for them this time and play it safe. I could get another cape though, that wouldn't hurt. And I'll skip out on it. I'm feeling too impatient. Okay, now ignore P switch because it's kind of useless. Unless you want to quickly go between rooms. I mean, go between the uh, upper areas. Alright, here we go. Bloop and bloop. Now I need to not hit it there. <laughs> Also, must wait here, there we go, there we go, I got another cape anyway. Alright, Big Boo, just you and I now. By the way, Big Boo does not hurt you at all. It's it's a pretty weird boss. <laughs> it's like that in the original Super Mario World as well, so... Yeah, Big Boo is just there while other obstacles flutter around you, and they're more of the boss than the actual boss itself. <laughs> it's kind of weird how that works. I win. Whee! Yeah! Victory goes to Super Plumber. 
And where does this lead? Huh? Huh? Where does this lead? Oh, the top secret area. I guess I could go check that out. So we've got mushroom blocks. Yeah, I'm not gonna grab those. We've got the information blocks. Um, this right here shows you where the switches are, but I already explained the thing that the bigger spots on the map um, hint at that there's switches in said maps. And yeah, Scrap Brain Zone is a thing in this game. Mm -hmm. And this is also a great place to uh, power up, by the way. There's more to this place once we get more switch palaces, as we can tell there, but otherwise this place doesn't really have... Um, you know, much of anything other than a power-up room, but let's see if there's Yoshis or, or something like that around here. No, I guess not. So I guess I'll grab a fire flower and a cape and get out of here. And with that, I'm going to end off this part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I start Floral Flights.